Is it safe to take hormone therapies? It is safe to take hormone therapies if you're under the guidance of an experienced doctor who knows what he's, he's doing. We should actually change the question um, and, and, and say actually that it's unsafe not to take hormone therapies after age 30, 35 or 40 years. Why? Why? Because uh, our hormone secretions decrease with age. And what is a hormone? Hormone is a sort of substance that is made in a tissue and that goes in the blood and goes uh, to many organs where it's going to stimulate the function of the organs. So if you don't have enough hormones, you are in a sort of organ deficiencies all over. Your body doesn't function well. You can get fatigue, uh, you can get depression, you can feel pain, you can also look less less good and, and, and have maybe more fat accumulation, for example. So it's very important to treat our hormone deficiencies. And so with age, from age 30 on, on average, uh, mo in most people, all the hormones begin, secretions begin to decrease in our body. Some quicker, some slower. Uh, among the quickest are DHEA and growth hormone therapy. Uh, but also sex hormones decline quite quite uh, soon and there is a little bit slower um, thyroid decline but thyroid can is often disturbed already long before anyway so um, it is important to be able to um, um, know this and also to do something about it because what happens if you don't take hormones well then you just age like everybody else do you really want to age like everybody else? Do you really want to feel the pain in your muscles and in your joints at age 50 or 60 or 65, the back pain? Do you really want that your body becomes aged, older looking? Do you really want to have this fat accumulation in your body and decrease in muscles? Because that all happens when you have a lack of hormones. In, in um, a cell, uh, you for uh, certain hormones you hear each cell gets uh, for certain hormones thousands of molecules of that hormone each day for growth hormone maybe just 250 each cell of our body receives 250 molecules of growth hormone is quite a lot but some that's 10,000 or 1 million of those uh, um, molecules that come in our body and they all decline so if you have a 25 percent decline you often have billions of molecules in your body who are missing do you really want this well it's simple, is to find a doctor who is able to help you balance your hormones back and then to correct the hormone deficiency by giving supplements. So it's really important. You will, there's um, many studies showing that uh, hormones like uh, thyroid, testosterone, uh, female hormones, uh, growth hormone, and, and are pr protective against cardiovascular diseases, against aging of the arteries, atherosclerosis, against uh, hypertension or, or in some cases hypotension, arterial hypertension. So um, uh, obesity, uh, diabetes, uh, cancer, osteoporosis, even cancer, uh, some hormones have protective effect like often thyroid hormones seem to have in many studies, um, progesterone, in, in studies uh, for breast cancer, the, the real process, not the synthetic derivative that has adverse effects there. Um, even in growth hormone, um, some st therapy in adults, uh, studies have shown 50% uh, decline of um, the increased cancer incidence that these people with growth hormone deficiency have. So, 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 but it has to be personalized treatment, otherwise it's unsafe. So um, if it, the doses are not adjusted to what your body needs, then you get off dosage and that's not interesting too. So as a, as a patient, you should try to get information. Uh, you should try to know what happens, uh, what are the complaints you have, what are physical signs you have when you have this hormone deficiencies, and what are the excesses. If you get a treatment, you have to be able that to screen uh, to to uh, recognize the excesses and then decrease the doses, and and that will make uh, treatments much safer. Also, if you participate as a full team member in the making up of your program with the doctor who has experience in doing it. Um, so uh, basically, my advice is, is uh, hormone therapies are safe, uh, you should take them, but you should find a doctor who can control the treatment, do the necessary lab tests, do the necessary physical examination on you and help you understand how you can also see if the 
uh, treatment is sufficient or insufficient or excessive so that you really get this personalized treatment that you deserve to have.